Hello everyone, this is Saurav Dungana. Today I will be sharing ideas on basics of Monte Carlo simulation. At first, let's start with the concept of simulation. Simulation is a modern problem solving technology or methodology whose sole purpose is to imitate real world problem or system by constructing artificial model which contains features of real world. It helps analysts to observe the behavior of output without conducting the real field experiment. Now let's talk about the purpose of simulation. It is generally performed on highly powered modern computers for the study of real life problem before the execution of project in the field. It is mainly preferred in analyzing risk bearing projects such as rocket propulsion, hydroflow analysis, investments of huge amounts in shares and projects, explosion testing and many more. The general process followed while conducting a simulation mainly consists of five steps. We will discuss all steps and activities done under these steps. The first step is to formulate model which is an imitation of real world. For the purpose of this, the constraints and variables are defined and taken from the real world scenario. In the second step, experiment on the model is conducted. It is a continuous and iterative process which is done repeatedly until the expected or preferred outputs are generated. In the third step, analysis of the generated outputs are done. This includes the study of nature and behavior of outputs. And finally, an effort is taken to generalize the model in a summarized form. In the fourth step, testing of the model is conducted and comparison is done with the similar purpose alternatives. This step helps to understand the distinctive benefits of developed model. Finally, validation of developed model is essential and it is done in the last and fifth step. For this purpose, errors are calculated and evaluated if they are in acceptable range. Lastly, if the errors are acceptable, then the model is said to be confirming the real world scenario problem and it is adopted. Now we are clear about the concepts of simulation. So we will move into the basics of what is Monte Carlo simulation. Monte Carlo simulation is an analysis tool which is used for the estimation of the behavior and features of outputs of a certain scenario. When the inputs of variables incorporated are uncertain, it helps to predict the nature of output with the help of parameters like probabilistic distribution and certainty. It is mostly used in engineering, finance and other fields where activities having real life risk of time, effort and investments plays major role while executing the projects. The principle of Monte Carlo simulations is mainly based on solving model in an iterative way. At first, a domain is selected where the study is to be focused. Various inputs are defined in the particular domain. Those inputs must be uncertain and randomly generated. Outputs must also be defined, which are selected on the basis of nature and depth of study. These inputs and outputs defined under certain domains are related by some governing analytical model. Inputs are used by this model to obtain the preferred outputs. For this purpose, several iterations are done and results from each run is stored. All the results generated from each run are aggregated and final result is obtained. Finally, this obtained result is used to determine the nature and behavior of outputs which helps to study its certainty and distribution. There are some factors that are to be considered while conducting Monte Carlo simulations. There must be variables which can be taken as inputs for the simulation. We must see whether there are any sources of uncertainty or not. If there are any uncertainties, then the process of the generation of random variables must be standard and it must follow a certain probabilistic distribution. An analytical model which governs the scenario must be developed and the constraints and variables to be incorporated in the model must be selected in such a way that the model represents the scenario in a closest way. For the purpose of executing simulation, a reliable and user-friendly software must be selected 
There are softwares like MATLAB, MS Excel, which can be used to conduct the Monte Carlo simulation. While conducting the simulations, the number of trials plays a major role and it must be selected in such a way that the output of the analysis is independent of the number of iterations. Finally, the process and depth of analysis of output must be clear and convenient to, to the context. The nature of parameters to be obtained in the result section is an essential part of the analysis. Lastly, the efficiency of the model up to which it is accepted must also be predefined and clearly stated. The general process followed while conducting a Monte Carlo simulation consists of five steps. At first, a model is determined and developed by identifying the inputs and outputs. At second step, the sample is collected for the inputs from the sample population of the variables. When the inputs are determined, the outputs are calculated by conducting end trials by varying the inputs and each value of the obtained output is stored. All the stored outputs are aggregated and final result is obtained. Finally, analysis is done by obtaining the certainty and distribution of the output parameters which becomes the estimate of the scenario. Finally, let's conduct a experiment for an example of Monte Carlo simulation. Let's take an activity of tossing a coin. There are two outcomes of this activity, either a head or a tail. Let's suppose there are two results. If head comes, we will win and it is denoted by numerical value 1. Similarly, if tail comes, we will lose and it is denoted by numerical value 0. Now our objective is to calculate the certainty of win. We will develop a model in MS Excel and conduct a Monte Carlo simulation to obtain our result. Here I have prepared Excel sheet to conduct the analysis. The activity is tossing a coin. Outcomes are head or tail and results are win or lose. Our assumptions are numerical value 1 for head or win and 0 for tail or lose. Now if head comes the value is 1 and if the tail comes the value is 0. That is written in this cell either 1 or 0. So there will be the result of win or lose in this cell. To track the win or lose we will set a formula in this cell. If we get a tail that is 0 we will lose that is also denoted by 0 and in other case we will win. This can be written as if this cell equals to 0 then our result is lose that is 0 otherwise our result is win that is 1. For the final outcome, we will count the number of win appeared in all trials. For this, a formula is set in this cell as count if this cell is equals to 1. Now let's define the assumptions for the input. Since the outcome of head or tail is uncertain, we will assign this variable with discrete uniform distribution with value of 0 minimum bound and 1 maximum bound. Now press OK and define forecast to the value of count of win so that we can track our win count as our result. The number of trials is set to 10,000 and start button is pressed to start the simulation.
the simulation is finished and we can now see the certainty of win as around 50.15 percentage which is very close to the real value of 50 percent here we only conducted 10,000 trials now let's increase the number of trials to 1 lakh and see what happens to the result Here the certainty of the win is around 50.099 which is more closer to 50% than that with 10,000 trials. So it is important to know the exact number of trials which gives the acceptable result. We will discuss more examples of Monte Carlo simulation in upcoming videos. For now, thank you.